All right, if you've been in inner southeast Portland on division lately, you may have noticed a 34,000 square foot building that was recently finished. Well, living inside, a large group of former neighbors who wanted to grow old together. This was the brainchild of a Portland woman, as we show you in tonight's Positive Vibes. It is a heated pool and a hot tub outside to enjoy all year round. A heated pool, a workout room, an extensive game room. It looks like a place where you'd stay for a vacation. But the recently built Ellen Browning building in the heart of Southeast Portland is an apartment building where a bunch of longtime friends all live together. We were all sitting around and talking about how we were going to age together and how we could do that. And we came up with this idea, but Molly is the one who took it and ran with it. Molly McCabe is Debbie's daughter. She's very close with her parents and their friends who had all previously been neighbors with frequent gatherings and even traveling around the world together. Well, as her parents have gotten older, Molly was worried about what was next and didn't want them to lose their independence in a conventional retirement home. And I didn't want their spark put out by a home like that. So I started thinking about what we could do to take care of them. And then I looked at the rest of the group and I thought, well, why don't we just take care of all of them? <laughs> she had the financial means to make it happen. So through the pandemic, the Ellen Browning building was built with input from everyone planning to live there. It has 12 units for her parents and their friends and a couple of one bedrooms for lease that they're saving for caregivers to live in down the road. The location was key on Southeast Division in 28th. We're five blocks from New Season, you know, 10 blocks from a pharmacy, restaurants all around. We want to keep it independent. It's just a great way to age in place, I think is a term. And the reason why we really like it is because we're in an urban setting. Okay, so by the way, if you're wondering about who the building is named for, Ellen Browning, she is actually Ellen Browning Scripps of the Scripps media family. She was Molly's great, great aunt. Now, Browning Scripps spent a lot of her fortune giving back, including founding the Scripps College for Women and donating land for Torrey Pines State Park in California. And so her great, great niece Molly wanted to honor her. That's a fascinating history. Oh, I, mm -hmm. I did a deep dive on Ellen Browning Scripps because I mean, she's done so much. She was on the cover of Time Magazine. Mm, she's done okay. a ton. So now we have a building in Portland named after her. And as a society, we do a horrible job taking care of our elders. Yes. So this is a great idea. Oh, yeah, totally. All right, Natasha, let's talk about.